So we are now on the train from Le Havre to Paris, and it goes to, what's the main station? Do you remember, Raquel? Gare de something? Uh, oh, 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 where we came from? No, where we're going. Um, Paris Saint Germain. Oh, Lazare, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the trains to and from Le Havre I believe mostly or entirely, I think entirely, go to um, to and from that St. Lazar. I'm not pronouncing that right. So basically what you do is you get to that station. We took a cab, even though there's all kinds of metros and things, um, you know, local trains and subways and metropolitan. We didn't want to mess with all that, did we? Did we? Did we want to no. mess with it? No, we didn't. So we just took a taxi there and um, it's not too hard, you know, the St. Lazar is kind of a big train station. And, uh, but you know, you can just ask somebody or show them your tickets. I think in the stores, a lot of people speak English. Uh, just be aware that when you do get to the train stations, they usually won't have the gate assigned, but there's a certain area, it's usually limited to like, you know, five or six or seven tracks and it'll be blank. And, and from where the taxi cab drop you off, yeah. you make sure you go all the way to the top. Yeah, it's up at the top. The cab dropped us off on the street. We had to go uh, elevator, escalator, and, and go to the top of the escalator, like kind of to the left at first. And then we went upstairs, and there's like, I don't know, coffee shops and pharmacies and things like that. And, um, and so then, you know, I stopped at a pharmacy. They spoke English. And, um, you know, I just asked where they were, and they said, you don't know the, the, the particular track yet or whatever but it'll be announced you just watch the monitors you'll see your train on the monitor and um and then once it's there you know you just hop on board that's basically it in in paris they scanned it when we got into the turnstile you know to let us in um i use train line that's what i recommend because you can do the sncf app but it's in french and the english is shaky i think the train um what did i say it was train what app what did I just say, Raquel? Train, whatever I just said. The train app. The train line. Train line, that, that's it, thank you. Yeah, the train line app is good English. They take a small cut, you know, or a commission, but it's not very much. It's really easy, you can get it um, on your phone now. And then once they, once they scan your ticket, uh, you can kind of see like, we're not sitting in the right seats right now, but you can kind of see how it lights up. That's where we're supposed to be sitting. But it's pretty easy, you know, the train makes between Le Havre and Paris, it makes like, I don't know, three or four stops. This thing tells you, it's kind of shaky on the video, it's not really like, at 3.57 we're gonna stop somewhere or other, it tells you where you're at. Um, we bought first class and, and you know, there's room for like a few carry-ons here. If you go downstairs near the door, uh, you can see like our luggage there on the rack and then the door's like just beyond that. But anyway, train's very smooth. We did buy first class tickets. It's not, you don't get much extra for first class. Um, you just get maybe a little more roomy seats. Again, we have a nice little table here. Say hi. Well, there's hardly anyone here. so we Well, can there's not. Take, there was a few more last time. You can time. take any table that you want. It's yeah. Empty. <laughs> and what's also nice is like last train, we had like somebody with COVID cough. I don't know if they really had COVID, but they're coughing away. At least up here, you're not going to have as many people, I think. So I would say spend the... 15 bucks or 20 bucks a person and get first class, but it's up to you. Um, and it's pretty comfortable. They have a charger for your phone and everything. We just brought some food on board. I'll also say like if you do the La Havre uh, train station, they do have some food that's pretty good in there. And um, it's not very expensive wine. Like these were like a buck 40 if it's gone. I have another one, but, and then the white was like a dollar 60 or something there's in US. There's spaces for your luggage. Yeah, there's space for there's your luggage. luggage. You have plenty of room. Um, and it's very smooth, it's there's very fast. Yeah, restrooms, everything. So I guess the short of it is, you know, there's not a lot of videos telling you how to get from Paris to La Havre. So I would say go to the train line app, you know, find what you want, right? It's in English, you know, you can pay with any credit card, US credit card, whatever you want. You get your tickets, you put them on your phone. I guess the only slight negative is that we got here kind of early. We did a 308 train. We got off a cruise ship and we probably could have done it a couple hours early. I tried to see if I could change it and I couldn't, you know? So um, if you do it on train line, you're kind of stuck with it, you know, or else you, like we could have done it and taken a 50% penalty. And I decided we'll just sit for a couple hours, kill some time in the train station. 
Uh, but I guess that's about it. So, you know, you get your ticket, you go to um, the Gare de Saint Lazare, whatever it is, right? That's, you know, there's several major train stations. That's one of them. You go upstairs, then kind of to the right. You go left upstairs to the right. Usually it's all the way down at the very end near like there's a Burger King there and I think there's a Starbucks and some things like that. You kind of find your train on the monitor. It'll be on the monitor. If it's not, it'll be there eventually. At first there won't be a gate. Make sure you're looking at the um, departures and then eventually you will see a gate and then you just go to it. Again, when you go from Paris, you scan it at the turnstile. It'll be on your phone. When you come back, there was a conductor or whatever that came by and checked us to make sure we're in the right spot. I'll just give you a quick look out the window. And uh, I guess they call this, well, there's not much right now going on. You can see this is kind of the Normandy region, but it's a very pleasant ride. And um, it's really not very difficult. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in here. I think we paid like for two people on train line for first class. I don't know, it was like 50 or 60 bucks or something. Maybe it's a little less than that. So it's really not too bad. If you want to save, you know, 20 bucks, you can do second class. But, you know, we didn't think that was a big deal. So I guess that's about all I have. So what do you think of the train service? It's pretty good? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's clean. It's comfortable. It's smooth. It's fast and efficient. Everything is like right on time. And there's no one here. And that's important too in these COVID times, you know, because like you just never know who you're traveling with, right? So, you know, I think if you can kind of minimize your the social contact, I think we're going through a tunnel right now. But anyway, I think I'm gonna sign off. So that's just a little primer on how to get from Paris to Le Havre or from Le Havre to Paris. And again, you're probably gonna mostly do this if you're going on a cruise. We just got off of MSC Virtuoso, Virtuoso. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the remarks section here on YouTube. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you have a nice time in Paris and Le Havre. Bye-bye.